One of the worst crimes, sexual abuse of a child. Sadly, it happens to one in five girls and one in ten boys, often by someone they know and trust. In tonight's special assignment, photojournalist Mark Schilling and I bring you one woman's journey to bring her sexual predator to justice 35 years later. I met him when I was 14. He had come in June of 1974. So as a Christian youth pastor, right away in July, we went to a Christian camp, a summer camp somewhere in Wisconsin, and that's where he started to groom me. Lori Aspland was your all-American girl. She participated in youth group, ran track at Bigfoot High School in Walworth County, and was prom queen. But her innocence was quickly taken away. We played trust games. We would play a game where he would go up my, my inner thighs and say, well, do you trust me not to pinch you? And I'd be like, well, yeah, okay. And then he kind of go up further. Russell Lesser was 29 at the time, 14 years older than Lori. I can't remember exactly when it went from um, more of the touching feeling to the to an actual sexual um, intercourse. She says they started having sex in his car, but it also happened at the Abbey Springs Country Club in Fontana and Lesser's home in Williams Bay. He had all the windows blocked out in his garage and down in his basement so nobody could see in there. The relationship lasted for nearly two years. I don't think I knew how to say, no, this isn't right. Um, this feels aki. We never talked about sex within my family. I just know at a certain point, it just felt very, very wrong. Lori and her family moved away, and she eventually told, but she wasn't ready to go public. I didn't know if people had believed me because he was very well um, liked and popular. I was probably 24, 25 when I started to think, can I get this guy? But by then, the Wisconsin statute of limitations, which at the time was only six years, had expired. Nobody wanted to touch it. I mean, even in the 80s, and I think even today, I think there are many attorneys who don't want to take these cases. So I just let it go until I heard about Father Donald McGuire. McGuire faced charges of molesting two boys during retreats in the 1960s. In 2006, McGuire was sentenced to seven years in prison. 36 years after the crimes were committed. Because the offenders did not live in the state that tolls or stops the running of the statute of limitations uh, for the entire time that they're out of the state. So because Lesser moved out of Wisconsin shortly after committing the crimes, the statute of limitations never ran out, giving Lori the opening she needed to bring her attacker to justice. I was afraid. But I just knew there was no doubt in my mind that I was going for this. Lesser was living in North Carolina. After a two-year investigation, authorities arrested Lesser and charged him with three felonies, including sexual intercourse with a child. After he was arrested, then I did get scared. Didn't matter who I had told or that I had already given a statement to the police and it was already taped. Didn't matter. If I disappeared, the whole thing went away. Lesser pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 10 years in prison. It was just such a sense of relief. I didn't cry. I didn't, I didn't do anything. It was like, thank God he got it. This was the defendant himself saying he was guilty. So I think that that helped show the world Lori was right all along. But Lori's work wasn't done. Here's an excerpt from my book. She spent three years documenting her journey to justice, and in her self-published book, she speaks candidly of the pain, shame, and humiliation of being a victim of a child sexual assault. It was just, um, I think, a God whisper saying that, you know, not only can you help yourself, but we're going to help others. Lori's also lobbying at the state capitol, hoping to help pass a bill that would create a three-year window for victims of child sex abuse to file a civil lawsuit. It's like a piece of that childhood, a piece of my soul that was ripped out is back. And that feels very, very good. And I want others to be able to have that if that's what they want. The Child Victims Act has been passed out of committee in the Assembly, but has not yet been scheduled for a floor vote. The Senate Companion Bill is in the Judiciary Committee awaiting a hearing. Now, under current law, most child victims of sexual assault have until the age of 35 to file a civil suit and 45 to file a criminal suit. Lori's book is available for purchase online. 
And while there, you can find a number of resources. The Department of Justice Office of Crime Victim Services has a list of victims' rights as well as links to state programs and local service providers. And we've posted all of this information on our web channel under news links. And John, just to give you an idea, in Dane County alone, there are nearly 20 organizations that are working with victims of child sex abuse. So it shows how prevalent this problem yeah. is, but that there are a lot of resources. And for people like Lori to have the courage to come forward and share her story, it's so important for other people to maybe seek help. It is. You know, she actually talked about airing her dirty laundry mm -hmm. and how it is embarrassing to go to the Capitol, but she really believes if she can help one person, it's worth it. Well, we thank her and we thank you for sharing her story. Thank you.